Shabbat Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back in with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Leviticus, chapter 1. No, so, sorry. Leviticus, chapter 19, starting verse 1. Again, Leviticus, chapter 19, starting verse 1. Leviticus, Leviticus 19 and 1, and I read, And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, You shall be set apart, for I, your, for I Yahweh, your El, am set apart. I read it to say this, Holiness is not religion, but is the life and person of Yahweh. Holiness is not religion, but it's the life and being of Abba Yahweh. Religion is man-made tradition, man-made commandments generated and spearheaded by the disconnected spirit of man that under the governance of Hillel who is the prince of the power of the air and who is the Elohim of this world system. For Abba Yahweh commands us to reject religion, to reject the commandments of men that makes his law, makes his being null and void. As I was commanding, he, he commanded us to be set apart as he is set apart unto himself. For Yahweh is perfectly reconciled unto himself. And if we are to follow holiness, as written in Hebrews 12, verse 14, to follow shalom of all men and holiness, without which no man should see Yahweh, then we will first be reconciled unto Yahweh. For in order to follow or pursue holiness, one must be reconciled unto Yahweh. And in order to be reconciled unto Yahweh, you must believe on Yahweh's appointed means of reconciliation with his beloved son, Yeshua of Nazareth. And so believing on him, you obey his teaching, which he taught the new birth. This new birth causes us to take on the nature and spirit of the reconciled man, the man that's reconciled unto Yahweh. And this means of reconciliation is the new birth. And to have the new birth, one must obey Acts 238. That is, one must repent of their sins, they must be baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for both the pardon of sin and the regeneration of their soul. And they must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. In being born of Yahweh, according to Acts 38, then one must diligently Learn the ways of Yahweh. That is the fundamentals of the doctrine of Yahweh, which consists of belief in one God, the new birth, and set apart living, which consists of the dietary instructions, the set apart memorials and appointed times, and the strict scriptural dress code and the proper interaction with the household of faith 
and with the world. Once mastering the fundamentals of the doctrine of Yahweh, then one can reach maturity in the renewed man, that one may achieve their particular purpose from Yahweh. Well, I call my beloved brethren, if we are commanded to follow holiness, then Yahweh is commanding us to be reconciled with himself. And in order to follow holiness, one must be born again according to Acts 38. And once you are taking on the new birth, the renewed man, you must maintain your reconciliation with Yahweh by faithful, steadfast, consistent obedience to his word, to his whole counsel. Don't be as the Christians who reject part of the counsel of Yahweh and adopt a philosophy and mindset of picking and choosing what commandments to adhere to for what the Christians have is selective obedience and partial obedience again what the Christians subscribe to is selective and partial obedience if you are selective in your obedience and if you're partial in your obedience to Yahweh then you're still in transgression. And if you're in transgression consistent, you are a child of Satan. For Yahweh commands us in being holy is to be perfect in our obedience. And the standard of perfect obedience requires us to be reconciled to Yahweh by the new birth according to Acts 38. My beloved brethren, Yahweh commands us to be holy as He is holy. What Yahweh commands us to do is to be reconciled unto Him, to maintain our reconciliation with Him. Family of the Israelite community, many of you have not been born of Yahweh. You have not repented of your sins. You have not been baptized and water in the name of Jesus Christ for both the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul. You have not sought Yahweh to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the expectation that upon receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit you will speak in another language as Yahweh permits you to speak. For speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak is the initial and external proof that one has received the Holy Spirit baptism. Many of you Israelite community reject water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Many of you reject the baptism of the Holy Spirit by saying that the Holy Spirit baptism is limited to just the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures is a product of the Holy Spirit. And we'll say it again. The Holy Scriptures is a product of the Holy Scriptures. As is written, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture by any private interpretation, but set apart men of Yahweh spake how? As they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And it's written again, all scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit as beneficial for reproof, doctrine, correction, and instruction in what's right. So, the Holy Scriptures, or what many call the Bible, is a product 
It, it, it derives from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Yahweh. And yet many of you in the Israelite community reject water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. You reject the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which means you're not born again. And if you're not born again, you are not fit to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. For the foundation of preaching and teaching the word of Yahweh is the renewed man. The foundation of preaching and teaching the word of Yahweh is the renewed man. For Yeshua of Nazareth, our great example, he is the originator of the renewed man. Just as Adam, our first father, was the originator of the man of sin. So in order for one to pre-qualify the priest to teach the gospel, one must be of the renewed man. And in the renewed man, once you reach maturity, brethren, Yahweh can deal with you to exalt you either to the apostleship or the prophetship, or he may move an apostle to appoint you to be a bishop or deacon. For the call of my blood brethren, it's written again, and highway shall be there, and a way it shall be called the way of holiness. Uh, it, 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 shall, it shall not be for it, 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 it's only for the wayfaring man. Though fools should not err then. The way of Yahweh is holiness. And holiness is not religion. Holiness is not man made. Holiness is not of this earth. Holiness is eternity. Holiness is the life and being of Yahweh. If you're holy, then you have been reconciled with Yahweh by the new birth of Cornelius 38. If you're holy, then you seek to maintain your reconciliation by subscribing to perfect obedience to this word. For in order to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of Shaim that will come to this earth, you must earn it. And you earn it by perfect obedience. This is Yahweh's perfect standard. You must be holy as Yahweh is holy. You must be reconciled unto Yahweh as Yahweh is perfectly reconciled unto himself. So take heed to the warning of the Holy Ghost family. Examine yourself. Are you holy? Are you reconciled unto Yahweh? Have you been born again according to Acts 38? Or are you showing forth the self-part attitude of holiness? Or are you showing forth the work of the man of sin? And remember, this is the work of the man of sin in Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Now the works of the man of sin are revealed. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, Immolation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like other which I tell you before, as I have also told in time past, that they would do such things and shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you are re re showing forth the works of the man of sin, then you will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come to this earth. So family, 
Consider your ways. Consider your ways. And repent of those ways that are in opposition to the word of Yahweh. For Yahweh commands us to be holy as he is holy. We are commanded to follow shalom with all men and holiness without which no man should see Yahweh. If you're not holy, you will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come. And holiness is to be reconciled unto Yahweh. And to be reconciled unto Yahweh causes us to be perfectly obedient to his word. As our beloved Messiah and soon coming king said, by the Holy Spirit, be you therefore perfect as your Abba, which is in Shamim, is perfect. This is the command of the Holy Ghost to be perfect. As Yahweh is perfect. We'll be holy. As Yahweh is holy. No man, no woman shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come upon this earth without being holy. Holiness is Yahweh's standard. Holiness is to be reconciled with Yahweh. See, it doesn't matter what group you're part of, what camp you're part of, what sim you're part of. You must be a part of the body of Hamashiach. And to be part of the body of Hamashiach, <coughs> the body of the renewed man, the first must be born again. And this new birth is according to Acts 38. I pray, Yahweh, that he continues to stir sincere and chosen hearts that both hear, both hear and receive his word. <coughs> I pray those who are scoffers, mockers, and evil men who refuse to hear your word, you send forth your fiery rebukes, your fiery indignation, and your Sore chastisement and grief plagues upon them. <coughs> Our Yahweh continue to grant strength, healing mercies, and favor upon us, your elect ones, O Yahweh. Increase our faith, strengthen our faith. Refine our faith that we may continually stand in the midst of these troublous and perilous times. Continue to prepare us for the coming judgment of the daughter of Babylon and its aftermath leading on to the time of your cold trouble. Continue to increase and establish our love for one another, O oh Yahweh. I thank you for another Shabbat day eve for grant, stirring my mind to speak forth your word of truth as you have led. Let miracles, wonders, and signs be performed by the name of your appointed means of reconciliation, Yeshua of Nazareth, that upon hearing this word of your servant, that your power and your spirit may be exalted in miracles, wonders, and signs. I give your name glory, honor, and praise, O Yahweh. I thank you. In the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. So be it, so be it. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>